I think that the best thing you can possibly do as a man is prepare for the endless difficulty that's going to come your way. There's no, there's no way out as a man. You're either going to have a very difficult life to become somebody important, or you're going to suffer the difficult to be, difficulty of being invisible. What do you want to do? You want to be invisible and just hide and, and work in Starbucks and never have a girlfriend who truly loves you and nobody care if you live or die? Or do you want to go out there and be top G and be the most famous man in the world and have government agencies trying to lock you up for no reason, putting you in a dungeon? You have to make a choice. It's going to be difficult either way. We got the same ending. We're going to die. So if you know you're going to die, why are you playing it safe? Like if you know you're going to die, why are you listening to other people tell you about your life? If you're going to die, why don't you live your own life? You're going to die anyway. Don't die on your grandma's terms. You're going to die anyway. Don't die on your friend's terms. You're going to die anyway. Don't die on your parents' terms. If you're going to die, die on your own terms. What happens is you have all these voices that are telling you you're fucked up and this is going to be hard, but for some reason, you put so much practice into you that you can ignore every one of them that are telling you you're not gonna fucking make it and still be able to fucking make it. You can give a quitter absolutely everything and they will still fail. Mm. You can give it, doesn't matter what it is. Quitters can have every single advantage. Quitters can have all the information. Quitters can have all the tutelage. Quitters can have a, a mentorship. Quitters can have someone who messages them every morning. Hey, bro, let's get it. And guess what they're going to do at the end? Quit. Quit. <laughs> they ain't never going to have shit. You can, you can say whatever you want about me. You can call me arrogant. You can call me anything you want, but you cannot call me a quitter. I didn't quit. So that's the difference. When it was hard, I did it anyway. That's who I've always been. And if you don't have that kind of tenacity, you're never going to be anything. All of us are created equal. Some of us just grind. Some of us don't make excuses. Some of us don't surrender. Some of us don't give up and give in. What we do with the pressure is we say, I gotta take it, and I gotta take it to another level. You your advantage. Why are you waiting for somebody to call you? Why are you waiting for somebody to liberate you? Why are you waiting for somebody to affirm you? Why are you waiting for somebody to tell you you got a dream or go? Why are you waiting for somebody to take you by your hand and give you what's rightfully yours? However much money you make, whatever kind of life you have, that's yours. When I hear people say, oh, it's hard, or I don't have time, et cetera, et cetera, all you're doing is telling me you're a loser. Every single winner feels the same as you do. The difference is they do not quit. They do not give up. They do not make excuses. They stay on the highway. It's amazing what you can achieve if you never give up. If you think the price of winning is too high, Wait till you get the bill from regret. The question isn't, can you handle the situation? The question is, can you handle your mind? On the other side of temporary pain, you meet your other self. So all pain, no matter what it is, it is temporary. And if you can survive it, on the other side of it, you will meet personality traits, emotions, thoughts, people, circumstances, versions of you that you didn't know existed before. It's a commitment, not a feeling. When you get up in the morning, you don't give yourself a choice. You grind, no matter what. When you're just not feeling it, you gotta force yourself. When your feelings tell you no, you tell them to shut the f up. You don't wanna get up and get out of bed, you get up and get the f out of bed. You don't wanna study, you fucking study. You don't wanna get to work, you get to fucking work. When everything in you is kicking and screaming, you have to take control and tell yourself, I do not stop. It's hard to keep going when no one is supporting you when no one is clapping for you. And that is exactly why you have to become your own biggest fan. You really do have to believe in yourself when no one else does. I want you to go in confidence that you've never had before. And every giant in your life, slay him. You go back and slay him. Don't kill him, slay him. Rule number six, if the plan doesn't work, change the plan, but never the goal. Be the guy who embraces the ugly, the miserable. Be the guy who embraces hard work, the grind. Don't be afraid of being hurt. Don't be afraid of sacrificing some blood. That's the only way you ever get where you want to go. You have to take a path that's dangerous, and most people want to take the safe path. The safe path leaves you stuck in quiet desperation. So whatever you're doing, you have to do it like your life depends on it. If you feel bad today, you chase your dream. If you feel good today, you chase your dream. You understand what I'm trying to say. A grown man is able to do things he don't want to do to get the one thing he wants. There will be a lot of fear and hate in your life. The question is, will you give up 
up and throw your whole life, which is God given, into the trash can? Or will you survive no matter what is happening with God on your side? We have to always remember our purpose will always be there. I have nothing in front of me right now. No race, no nothing. But the purpose is myself. Your mind has to be stronger than your feelings. On those bad days, when you think that you're alone, you just might be. Because you know why? No one else wants to fucking do it. So you be the motherfucker that always gets it done. Stay hard. The results told you to stop. You, the results told you you ain't getting what you want. The results made you frustrated. The results had you tired. The results got you feeling some type of way. You don't like the results. And what we do when we don't like the results, instead of changing, we do more of what we were doing that wasn't working in the first place. When you get to the point where you do the work consistently, you invest in yourself consistently, you make sacrifices consistently when everybody else is slacking off, when everybody's partying, when everybody's making excuses, you will dominate every single person you're up against. The 1%. This is a group of people that do what the other 99% don't. They separate themselves from the crowd by constantly pushing through discomfort. They work when others don't. I believe that when we die, we meet the person we could have been, the one we were capable of, the life we were capable of having. I want you to imagine for a minute that when you die, you meet who you could have been. I'm chasing that guy. The emotions, the memories, the contribution, the achievements, I'm chasing it. When I get there, I'm going to go, man, I've been chasing you at my lad. And I want me to go, man, I was watching you, bro. What a run. Man, I thought you blew it on that one chapter. And then, I, then you came back. And then you got knocked down again. Then you came back, you got knocked down again. You did it. You maxed out your life. So I'm telling you, this ain't forever. And when you're doing something that don't last forever, you got to treat it differently. This don't last for 20. This don't last for 30. This might not even last for 10 for some of you. So you got to take full advantage of every single Sunday. You know what discipline really is? Discipline is when you are tired. You want to turn off the alarm and sleep in, but you get up and do what needs to be done. Discipline is when you do what you do not want to do now, so you can get what you do want in your life later. Discipline is something very few people have. That is discipline. Stop chasing for motivation and get disciplined. Sometimes you're living through the toughest thing ever and you don't know why it's happening to you. But sometimes, guys, it's bigger than what you can even see right now. Sometimes your son gonna be looking you in the eye and say, Dad, how do I get through this? And then what are you gonna tell him when you quit before? What are you gonna tell him when you took shortcuts? That's the point, man. There's so much stuff that's bigger than you right now that you're going through for a bigger purpose than you can even imagine. We can all change our emotions if we really want to. You could all think yourself sad. You could all think yourself happy. Everyone can do it, but people take too long to do it. You need 10 minutes. Get good at it. Give yourself a few seconds. And then you have to decide which emotion puts me in the most competitive state right now. And you'll often find that happy is not one you choose very often. It's not a competitive emotion to be happy. I'm happy, then you don't get shit done. I like to feel proud all the time. We're not digging a hole this year. We've dug too many holes. I'm telling you, God has blessed me. And I'm telling you right now, when I reverse engineer it and go, how in the world did I get here? God said, be real with the people. You got to a point in your life where you stop digging holes. Happiness is just a feeling like sadness. Don't act like you feel. No matter in what situation you are right now, stay calm and disciplined. Patience in the right moment is the key.